Over time, we have created such distributions for several systems at Microsoft, at Google, at SAP, and on many open source programs. What we always found was the so-called Pareto principle. That is, 20% of all modules contain 80% of the bugs. The numbers vary from project to project, but what we always found was there was a relatively small number of modules that would contain lots and lots of issues. Initially, we were just excited of being able to create such distributions more or less at the touch of a button. But as you look at these distributions, you begin to wonder, where do these bugs actually come from? Do these modules that actually are specifically bug prone have something in common? And if they do have something in common, could we use this very feature to make predictions? So we dug a bit deeper and checked a number of interesting features. The first question we asked, does the bug density correlate with the experience of the developers that wrote the programs? That is, possibly more experienced developers make fewer mistakes. So for these questions, I'm going to ask you for a guess on your side. These will not be rated. So what do you think? Does bug density correlate with developer experience? Yes or no?